you definitely want to, you know, you know, treat your body like a temple. I've helped three people in the last year walk without a cane. Mm. And people usually don't look for help in busier gyms. They just mm. want to do their own thing, put their headphones on, and just do whatever they want to do, mm. even, even though they'll look the same a year later. Mm -hmm. But for, you know, people that just want to take to the next level. Everybody kind of has to find their way to their own point of being ready and being mm -hmm. open to physical fitness, like mm -hmm. even like in spirituality, like kind of any like area of life, you kind of got to be ready, be like pushed a little bit towards that yep. some kind of motivation sure, to, sure. to get into that yep i can't really tell exactly if i'm like doing a squat the right way mm -hmm. so yeah having somebody there to like critique your posture yep. is key oh very key yeah. very key you know everyone seems to think like oh i'm 30 I, you know my metabolism is gone now or i can't right, do this yeah. it's like no study show metabolism doesn't start diminishing till you're 60. even if you can't get to the gym one certain day like if that's what you do at least get outside and like, uh, yeah touch absolutely the ground yes and, yeah. just move you know get in the sun yeah. like, oh you know i don't want to run on a treadmill good don't run on a treadmill get outside and walk 10 times better than don't be afraid of meat uh -huh. don't be afraid of eggs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh disregard everything the government has been telling you for the last 50 years uh -huh. back in the 50s big sugar mm -hmm. kind of paid off law of scientists be like oh no sugar's not the problem it's fat mm -hmm. it's it's yeah. red meat it's egg you know having a cheat day it's it, it helps it helps a lot mm -hmm. you know you know, that having that kind of spike of sugar kind of, you know, helps with the protein synthesis throughout the week, kind of spikes insulin. That's another thing that was uh -huh. demonized for so long. Fantastic. You get a better pump off that's that than awesome I do. That's an awesome hack. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. So he's going to ruin your drink and you're going to waste your money by, if you pay for it. Because that's the thing they do. I don't know why. Yeah. But that's really a thing they uh. do. But why do you want to be a teacher, Dave? Why, I mean, oh, why not? You know, you were a teacher, you loved it. He's like, go do something better. Find something else. Find Ooh. a better calling. You know, it's you have so much more potential. Wow, this is the guy that kind of made me want to be a teacher. He's telling me not to be one, so what should wow. I do? I'm like, maybe I should just, you know, get into fitness. And when you, like, give that information from the heart and, like, really, truly, like, wanting to help people, that's, mm -hmm. that, like, totally amplifies your message, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this idea just came to me. But, nice. Um, it's kind of like a suggestion. I'm going to throw it out there. You can say yes or no, but do you want to... Yeah. <laughs> hey Dave, how's it going? Great Kim, how are you? Good, welcome to my show. Thank you very much, thank okay. you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Pretty, pretty, gonna be, have a fun time I think. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I, I guess I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, live yeah. in the moment, be here exactly, now. Exactly, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, framework for my first question. Mm -hmm. um, here's what I, I know of you personally. Um, we, well, my first knowing of you is you were <laughs> oh a substitute teacher That's right, school. I was. <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah, so long. It's been 20 plus years. Oh, God. I know, right? Let's not, let's I know. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Well, yeah, I feel you were at least in high school. I was out of high school, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I think, like, at one point, more recently, because I, I hadn't seen you since then, mm. um... I think I actually bumped into you at that market basket we were talking about, the new one. I didn't bump into you because I didn't say hi, uh, but I remember seeing you and... Was I just like plowing through people? <laughs> Did you have no, shop? no. <laughs> Got my um, way, you need food. <laughs> it was very much like out of context thing and mm -hmm. I remember seeing you and, and at that time I think you had like long hair. Long yes, hair yes, I did. Yeah. Um, and I kind of like smiled at you, but like I didn't say hi because I was like, oh, oh sure. Yeah, right. but then it. I, I kind of remembered, but then like... The algorithms brought us together yep. and like I think we ended up like connecting on social media mm -hmm. like Facebook Instagram yep. whatever yep yeah and around that time I when I would interact with you online or what I saw online was it looked like you were involved in insurance back then. A little then. while, yeah during, yeah, during the pandemic, yep. Oh, yeah. All the gyms were closed and stuff like oh, that, so okay. I had to do something, so yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. Insurance was it. So. Yeah. So that worked yep. out. You were promoting that. Yep. Um, and more recently, I've seen you promoting your work in personal training, Correct. fitness, yep. coaching, and mm -hmm. health. Yes. So, Which is um, mainly what I've been doing since I last saw you as your substitute teacher. Yeah. So you know, I got into personal training then as well as um, you know, into the nutrition field. 
Um, I spent a lot of time at GNC actually, mm. you know, ri ri rise up the ranks there. Um, you know, I was still training on the side, but I was mainly doing, you know, that at the time. Um, from there, I got into outside sales for supplements, mm -hmm. still training on the side. And um, yeah, and then, you know, that, that brought me up to the pandemic where, you know, all these shops were closing down and people were kind of like, you know, their wallets were a lot tighter. So, mm -hmm. you know, they weren't buying as much. I'm like, geez, you know, I'm, you know, I didn't have a salary. I was just on commission. So I'm like, well, I got to find something else to do for, mm -hmm. <laughs> for a little while anyways. So, yeah. yeah. Wow, I bet yeah. that was like a challenge. It was, yeah, it was. Through, yeah. yeah, especially, you know, I mean, it the, it itself was a challenge, you mm -hmm. know, for everyone, obviously. Yeah. But, you know. I know that was like a really, really hard time for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In sure. general. Like, yeah. I went through a lot that, that year and mm -hmm. like those couple of years. Yeah. yeah. Well, you survived it. That's what matters. We did, yep. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, basically, my first question is... Um, what do you see your place to be in the world in this life? What do you feel is your greater purpose during this incarnation? Um, <laughs> you know, just you know, trying to help people live their best life. Um, you know, I even, even when I was doing insurance, I was kind of trying to frame it that way mm -hmm. too. I'm, like, hey, I'm keeping people safe, giving people peace yeah. of mind, you know. But I mean, obviously, to me, it's more the make sure people are healthy, you know, keeping people you know, active, mm -hmm. um, you know, movement is medicine, movement is medicine. Um, mm -hmm. so it's kind of one of those things where I just want people to, you know, live the best lives they do. And I, that's, I mean, obviously we all have jobs for the money mainly, but we also do find stuff to do because we enjoy it and mm -hmm. we find, you know, get, take pride in it. Yeah. Can I maybe, maybe making more money doing something else? Sure I could, right, but yeah. you know what? I'm doing pretty good doing what I'm doing yeah. and it's making me happy. So yeah. Yeah, that's really important mm -hmm. to to have that and to like be able to facilitate that in people's lives and like be an, an example for yeah. people. Yep, exactly. A lot of people I think aren't really aware that mm -hmm. much of like how important physical exercise can oh, be. Oh yeah. How important like getting the proper nutrition mm -hmm. can be. Yep, super important. In I feel all like it's getting. Of life. I feel like it's getting better and better. Yeah. But I, it's still it's still a lot of people that the message just isn't getting to, or at least mm -hmm. not enough. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I have what seven hundred fifty friends on my Facebook, and I know there's a lot of people on there that should be like asking questions about it, and mm -hmm. they're not. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Which hey, you know, that's that's on them. So right, yeah, yeah. I think like everybody kind of has to find their way to their own point of being ready and being mm -hmm. open to like, well, in in any thing really like in like physical fitness like mm -hmm. even like in spirituality like kind of any like area of life you kind of got to be ready or like be like pushed a little bit t towards that yep some kind of motivation sure, to, sure. to get into that yep yeah everybody has their own kind of time for that I guess. exactly <laughs> <laughs> so let's see um uh, questions i have for you do you want to get a little bit into like your backstory and how you ended up getting into like the your fitness career yeah yeah i mean it kind of ties into you know how we met at chimps mm -hmm. high um you know when i was in high school i didn't know what i wanted to do you know mm -hmm. growing up i you know i wanted to be a comic book artist mm -hmm. i wasn't good at drawing mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um i could draw internet objects but when it came to like people or animals yeah no, i can do that um <laughs> you know that uh I wanted to be the guy in the Godzilla costume, which, mm. you know, which obviously was CGI. That would I wouldn't have a <laughs> job very long with that. Um, but but eventually, you know, I was doing really good in history, and history was something that really interested me. Mm. Um, and so I was like, I'm supposed to be a teacher. You know, what else am I going to do with a history degree? I'll just go to school, be mm. in history. Um, I went to UMass Lowell, and you know, I was doing pretty well. And I mean, at the same time, you know, I, I did sports in high school. I did track, I wrestled, I did judo. Um, and I get, you know, but once you get to high college, like a lot of people when they go to college, they put on weights, they stop exercising, they start eating like a college kid does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wasn't good enough to do sports in college. Uh, I was just okay in high school. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of one of those things where like, okay, not moving, increased calories, four calories, drinking beer, you know, <laughs> the mm -hmm. usual stuff most people do in college. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't, I'm glad you didn't. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's one of those things where like, okay, I needed, you know, I don't like how I look anymore. You know, I don't, this isn't me. I need to get back in shape. 
And so I was kind of discovering fitness again, you know, picking up magazines and, you know, the early days of the internet, stuff like that, you know, um, long before there was like a bodybuilding.com or anything like that. Um, and so I was like, you know, going substitute teaching. And um, it was actually, uh, I don't know if you had, remember Mr. Lemaire? History teacher. Mm, I was uh, my memories from school. Are like <laughs> you try to block him out. I'm so blame him. hazy. I don't know. <laughs> well, he was like my he was my favorite teacher. Huh. Um, he, he was kind of like the one that talked me to become that teacher. Mm. And um, and ironically, I remember one day there was a fire drill and I was just shooting the crap with him outside. And he's like, you know, like well, why do you want to be a teacher, Dave? Why, I mean, oh, why not? You know, you were a teacher. You loved it. He's like, go do something better. Find something else. Find mm. a better calling. You know, it's. It's not the, not the most, mm. you know, not the best life in the world. You have so much more potential. And so I was like, you know, I really like, wow, this is the guy that kind of made me want to be a teacher. He's telling me not to be one. So what should wow. I do? I'm like, maybe I should just, you know, get into fitness, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, UMass Lowell didn't have a uh, exercise science degree at the time. They do now, but mm-hmm. this was 2001, mm-hmm. 2000, 2001, something like that. And so I switched to uh, Fitchburg State. Which was good because it's also a lot less, less money. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much from there. You know, that's how I got into fitness. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. So that's like, I don't know. It's kind of really interesting. Like that um, that teacher was like, oh, I'm on this path. You don't want this. Right? Yeah, pretty like, much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, in hindsight, I kind of sometimes I thought I was like, was he just joking? Was he fooling yeah. with me? And it's like, oh, well, I, I listen to him anyway, so I guess yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like kind of crazy, like those like little moments and like little like things people can say, yeah, that just like totally can change your trajectory, especially when you're young. Yeah. You know, what was I, twenty one, twenty two at the time? You know, mm. so I was like, oh my god, really? Wow, you yeah. know, like I should change this, you know? Yeah. So. Wow. And I'm glad I did. You know, mm. like I would have been bored being a teacher. I think. No offense yeah. to teachers out there. Yeah. Obviously, a very very important job. You know, they don't get the credit they deserve mm-hmm. for the most part. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, it just wasn't for me. That's yeah, all. Yeah, <laughs> totally, yeah. Um, uh, what, what's like, uh, let's talk about like the broader perspective of your, like your field that you now have like after being in it for quite a while. Well, when I first got into it, it was kind of like, you know, I was young. Mm-hmm. It's kind of one of those, you know, I'm going to work with athletes and, you know, work with, you know, people who, who are jacked and get them even more jacked, get them in mm. shape and, you know, work with fitness models and all this mm. <laughs> young man and obviously thinking stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know, but now it's like, you know, I'd rather work with people who are like, you know, like I, I have a, a niche now where it's like, you know, men and women in their 50s and 60s that mm. used to be in shape, but mm-hmm. after letting themselves go all these years, mm-hmm. we're like, wow, I can't. You know, I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, I'm just like, you, you still can. You just got to reverse what you've done so far. You know, everyone seems to think like, oh, I'm 30. I, you know, my metabolism is gone now. Or I can't right, do this. Yeah. It's like, no, studies show metabolism doesn't start diminishing until you're 60. Wow. It's just a matter of your choices that mm-hmm. make it make it seem that way. Yeah. You know, and I get it. Obviously, jobs take, suck up a lot of our time. Family, kids, responsibility, you know, mm. more things happen, more, you know, more trauma kind of, um, you know, stacks on top of you and beats you down, mm. you know. I get it. I get it. It makes it a lot harder than when you're younger. You're like, yeah, I'm young, whatever, who cares? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I, I have time to do it later, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and there is time. You just got to make sure you make the time for it. Mm-hmm. So, but by way, <laughs> do yeah, it now, you know. Right, so, yeah. you know, that's why I say to people all the time, they're like, oh, you know, I'll think about it. I'm like, well, why not now? Mm-hmm. You know, you, got, you can take a month to think about it. That's a month you could be, you know, 10 pounds lighter or be able to move better or, you know, walk faster or get down the ground, play with your grandkids more, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like uh, it, it's so important to, like, take life day by day mm-hmm. and, like, be, even if, like, you can't, like, get to the gym, like, one certain day, like, if that's what you do, like, you know, just like at least get outside and like uh, yeah, touch absolutely. the ground. Yes. And, yeah. Just move, you know. Get in the sun. Yeah. Like, ah, you know, I don't want to run on a treadmill. Good. Don't run on a treadmill. I actually, matter of fact, I tell people not to run on the treadmill. It's one of the worst mm. machines in the whole gym. Get outside and walk. I'd rather yeah. see you walk around your neighborhood, which, I mean, I get we're in New England, so that's not always optimal. Mm. Um, you know, but if your gym has a track, an indoor track, or, you know, your local live may have one. 
e- even the high school, you know, mm-hmm. they usually shovel it off mm-hmm. to practice, mm-hmm. just walk around there. That's mm-hmm. 10 times better than going on a treadmill. Mm-hmm. Treadmill's doing half the work for you, so. Yeah. Maybe not exactly half, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> So on that topic, what do you think is like the best, like generally the best exercise you can do for, like anyone can do? For anything? Yeah. I like, mean, obviously a lot of different, um, you know, goals that you could have. Mm-hmm. But in general, I would just say walking, to be mm. honest. You know, I mean. Most accessible. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it will help no matter what your goal is. It's going to help. You know, it's going to increase your heart rate. Mm-hmm. It's going to get you going. Especially if you do it outside. You can get the extra vitamin D, the fresh mm-hmm. air, you know, the sunlight. Mm-hmm. Vitamin D, same thing. But, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, like, you know. And, yeah, it's tougher to get it around here. I get that. But mm-hmm. it's not impossible. Yeah, you know, so. sometimes the end, yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, it's March enough, and plenty nice out. Yeah. You know, wear a jacket, put some gloves yeah. on if you need to, you yeah. know, wear a stocking hat, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just get that sunlight in your eyes, and not directly, but you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, it's it's just one of those things that like, you know, no matter what you're trying to do, you're trying to lose weight, trying to build muscle, you know, trying to just be more mobile, more flexible, just mm-hmm. go out and walk. Yeah. So, um... There's something I was wondering. So, like, um, what would you say is, like, the ratio of importance when we're talking, like, between, nutri- like, actual nutrition and, like, physical activity and, like, whatever else you would include in that? Like, I mean, I would say nutrition is most of it. Mm. You know, I mean, it's tough to put a number to it. Obviously, yeah. depends on your goal and where you're starting from mm-hmm. um, and how nutrition affects you. Mm-hmm. You know, there's some people that... You know, can, you know, I, I have had a trainer that just was working with me. He's, you know, 56, 57 years old. He's shredded and he eats like garbage. Mm. But he just can. He just can. I mean, huh. he works out. He doesn't do anything special. Yeah. You know, matter of fact, I pick on him because he's like, <laughs> like, you're still working out like you did 25 years ago. And that's not really a compliment. Like, yeah. it's, a, it's a science. It yeah. evolves. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of one of those things that were like, all right. And we evolve. Yeah, exactly. Like we do. Changes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And But it's like, you know, like, I mean, that's a science too. You know, yeah. everything's a science pretty much. And, you know, so is exercise in physiology. It's a science. And we're mm. learning so much more now. You know, like when I first started training people, I'd be like, all right, let's go on the machines. Mm. But, you know, they're so restrictive. Yeah. You, don't, you don't get nearly enough out of them. They're doing yeah. half the work for you. Yeah. And as a trainer, it's kind of like, you know, why, the person's eventually going to be like, why am I paying you to train me when I can just look at the machine? And be like, oh, okay, do this, cool. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. <laughs> and not to mention, like, you know, it's taken away a lot of the mobility from you. It's taken away a yeah. lot of the, um, you know, the actual, you know, it, it's doing a lot less of your body. You mm-hmm. know, you do a shoulder press on the machine, you're literally just doing your delt. You do mm-hmm. that with the dumbbell, yeah, you mainly do the delt, but you're doing the muscles around it, as well as you're working your core as well, too, mm-hmm. which is super important. Yeah. So do you kind of train a lot with, like, like dumbbells, like you said, just like free lifting. Yeah, free weights. Yeah. Uh, once in a while, cable machines because they're not okay, as yeah. restrictive. Res- like I mean, like resistance. Kind yeah. Of thing, yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're not as restrictive as say like the the kind where you pull move the pin and mm-hmm. you know like a Nautilus machine. You know, it's one of the yeah. brand, probably the biggest brand, but there's 40, 50 different brands. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, like those are the ones that are more restrictive. With a mm-hmm. cable, there's a lot more. You gotta control it a lot more, so it's mm-hmm. gonna make you do a lot more work, mm-hmm. and you get more out of it. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, well, I'm just, this just coming to me about like, um, I've done like kind of a lot of like physical therapy kind of stuff over the years. Um, how do you work with people with like specific needs and like specific areas of their bodies? I mean, honestly, I, I steal a lot from physical therapists as far as what they do so yeah. um you know obviously i try to keep within my scope of my knowledge as well mm-hmm. you know i i don't want to be like hey you know i'm a physical therapist when i'm not mm-hmm. um but i mean yeah i mean you know I'm just like this past year alone i've gotten three different clients off and walking with canes mm-hmm. you know and that's just with strength training wow. nothing crazy nothing special yeah just making sure they're working on their movements you know their moving pattern that's that's the biggest thing i train now and that's probably the biggest change now from when I first started mm-hmm. like I said getting people on machines now it's I, I, I don't train people exercises I train them movements mm. you know pushing pulling you know hip hinging mm. you know squatting you know stuff like that you know carrying stuff that those are like the, the key things I, I train people mm-hmm. and especially if I train people just one day a week which sometimes that happens you know that's basically what I do doing a push movement a pull movement a carry mm. you know um, 
a couple different leg movements, like I said, the hip hinge, the knee hinge, lunging, mm -hmm. the core, something for the core, usually like a, something rotational. Mm -hmm. Do you think that strength training is important for everyone? Absolutely. And how important is Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Everybody Super. needs it, Everyone right? should. Everyone yeah. should, yeah. You know, I used to hear that all the time. Well, I want to get too big, you know, yeah, mostly yeah. from women. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, don't worry. I've been trying to get too big my whole life. Hasn't happened. <laughs> and I say that jokingly, of course. Right. I like to joke and, you know, keep things light. But it, it's true, though. I mean, the people who do get too big are training to get too big. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't, it doesn't happen by accident. Mm, okay. You know? Gotcha. Yeah. 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 And uh, I know strength training is important because of like certain things that I've been through, like sure. going to physical therapy. Yeah, before, like I've had um, patel, I don't know if you patellofemoral pain syndrome, mm -hmm. where my knees were just like in pain all the time. Sure. And this was kind of like way back when I was commuting into Boston every day from mm. work. And I was just like running through people to get to where I was going. Yep. I wasn't doing any kind of exercise. Right. I had to build up my leg muscles to support my knees because I wasn't like getting. And that's the biggest thing I've support. done with those, you know, the three clients in the past year or so that mm -hmm. I am off working with canes mm -hmm. is because they've been that building their strength. Yeah. You know, I mean, one of them, two of them are old, much older. One of them's a little bit older than me in his fifties, but he's very, very heavy. He had he had just mm -hmm. lost. Let's see, he was like four twenty five. So he's get down. I got him down to like three fifty. Wow. So was that seventy five pounds? Yeah. You know, which obviously helps a lot. Oh, know, yeah. So, I mean, he, but he wasn't old, you know. Mm. If he was always, you know, 200 pounds his whole life, he probably wouldn't have any problems at all. Mm. Unless he, something else happened. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, getting into like nutrition, like, oh, and kind of like what I asked before, like, about like the importance of how things fit in together. Like, um, like, what's the ratio of like what you personally practice when you're training people, um, like, physical training and uh, opposed to like nutritional training like how how much do you coach people on how to handle their nutrition i try to do both mm -hmm. um you know I, I am certified in both personal training and nutrition for both you know basic nutrition and sports nutrition mm -hmm. um which it's kind of a fine line really mm -hmm. um but it's you know I, I feel more people will be like oh my, my, my diet's fine my diet's fine mm -hmm. yeah i mean a lot of times it's not <laughs> you know what i mean but you know and i keep trying to put hey you know let me, let me know i can help you with that too you know but i feel like that's kind of like their comfort mm -hmm. so they think they can outwork a poor diet which you really can't mm -hmm. you know you might be able to a little bit but not nearly enough to make a difference so. mm -hmm. all right well what are some of the things that you recommend to people like generally with in regards to nutrition, um, don't be afraid of meat. Uh -huh. Don't be afraid of eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, disregard everything the government t has been telling you for the last fifty years. Oh. For, <laughs> um, that's definitely a big one. You know, um, I mean, I don't think I'm saying anything controversial right now by saying that. You know, back in the fifties, I believe it was, they, you know, the big big sugar as it's referred to mm. kind of paid off law scientists be like oh no sugar's not the problem it's fat it's mm, it's yeah. red meat it's it's cholesterol Some people still like are on that oh totally like, every day i deal low fat. No, i mean not every day but most a couple times a week i always meet someone that's like yeah. oh what do you, oh no i don't have the i don't have the yolk of the egg too much cholesterol oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like no it's not <laughs> no don't. you want cholesterol you need cholesterol yeah. your body wouldn't survive without it you know right. And yeah, there's such thing as bad cholesterol, but that comes mm. from sugar. That's not mm -hmm. come from more too much dietary cholesterol. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like some people in my family are just like that. No, I don't want to take any fat. Give me the skim milk. Yeah. Yeah. When I got that too. Skim milk. Yeah. At, at yeah. that cafe I work at, I'm like, mm -hmm. but what's the point though? It's basically water. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Seriously. One percent. You do realize it, it is what it says, right? It's just one percent milk. Everything else is water. Yeah. You know what I mean? Might as well just have water. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You know, I realize that one percent you can kind of taste it at least, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like you're you're better off with whole milk, to be honest. One hundred percent better. I know? totally agree. In that, yeah, yeah, and tastes better. And oh, definitely. Obviously, yeah. Everything about it's better, and like mo a lot of fats are like healthy, right? Very healthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I mean, you know, obviously some are better than others. You mm -hmm. know, like you know, having an avocado is fantastic, mm -hmm. or you know, um, grass fed beef, stuff like that. I just had a half pound of grass-fed beef before I got here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd say I need a very high-fat diet, mm -hmm. but it, I've been healthier because of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Cholesterol's not nothing bad, you know. It hasn't been since I was in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, um, when I was in college and overweight. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that, you, you know, your body needs it. It helps, helps lubricate your joints, helps, you know, boost testosterone, helps with all your hormones. Mm. So, nice. yep. So we talked about fat and protein a mm -hmm. little bit. Yep. What are the other, like, very important nutrients that people should be getting in their diet all the time? I mean, obviously you need your vitamins, you know, mm -hmm. especially up here in the Northeast where we get, like, no sunlight. Vitamin mm -hmm. D is very important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that'll obviously help you with your cholesterol, too, help you, you know, process it. Um, you know, and it's also helped with hormonal support, helps you, helps you with your immune system. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's that and magnesium, the only two micronutrients I, like, really, really push because mm -hmm. how important they are. Yeah. You know, it's it's funny. A friend of mine that worked, that, and she still works in the supplement industry, but you know, we were joking a few months back about how, oh, remember back in the day when I first met you? Like our favorite supplements were like pre-workouts and creatine, and, and I still suggest creatine, creatine, but you know, protein stuff like that. And now it's like, you know, I'm really excited when I get new magnesium, <laughs> and I am, I really am, because I mean, it helps with everything. You know, helps with electrolytes, helps with your brain health, helps with your bones. Mm. You know, helps with like everything. So. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Sleep is another really important one, so. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, supplements are really important, right? Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about, like, like, what are, like, the good, or do you know, like, the good kind of foods that we can get, like, all these na natural supplements, like, uh, natural nutrients from, like, magnesium and... I mean, leafy like greens. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, magnesium, yeah, I should drink more milk. I'm like, no, mm. no, 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 that makes no sense. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I wonder if... Yeah, yeah, um, I don't know why I hear it all the time, because yeah. it's, you know, magnesium and calcium are always kind yeah. of, you know, lumped together. Mm. Um, but no, I mean, leafy greens, you know, mm. stuff like that, um, you know, the, the, the darker the green, the better, mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm trying to think whether, you know, some fruits have it, you know, bananas, yeah. blueberries, mm -hmm. so... Awesome. Yep. Hmm. Let me see what else. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I mean, obviously, you know, it, you know, when people ask me about diet, it, they're usually people who are trying to lose weight. So I don't mm. really kind of talk a, as much about this as I mm -hmm. should because I just want them to eat, you know, get into a caloric deficit. But eating a whole mm. food organic, you know, diet is very, very important for, yeah. for overall health. Mm -hmm. But for them, I'm kind of just trying to get them into a a better eating pattern as far as calories go so that's mm -hmm. why i really focus on with them mm -hmm. but for you know people that just want to take to the next level you know <clears throat> organic's always the best way to go nice. yeah um i guess i just like i don't know sometimes i worry about like like nutrition nutrition deficits mm -hmm. oh um, it's it's yeah. very a very real thing yeah. You know, especially if you aren't eating a whole food diet cuz mm -hmm. you know, the food we have, I mean, a lot of it, you know, it's it's processed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they may re-add a lot of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how much they re-add to yeah. stuff. Even like like bread. Like, oh, yeah. it's 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 um whole grain bread, it's brown. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, well, they probably bleached it and then colored it. Cuz that's God. the thing they do. I don't know why. Yeah. But that's really a thing they oh. do, you know. Obviously if it's an organic, they don't do that, but yeah. I hope. <laughs> right? right? I, I, sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I do wonder. Like, I really trust it? Oh I don't my know. God. You know, so. But yeah. it's definitely, yeah, you definitely want to, you know, there's nutritional deficit's definitely a real thing. And yeah, it's important. That's why it's important to take a good multivitamin, you know, mm -hmm. just get, to get everything that you, you know, are missing outside mm -hmm. of it. Oh, I eat a good enough diet. Well, yeah, you probably don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most people don't, so. Yeah. So multivitamin. Yep. Very important. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And I eat a lot of organic food, a lot of meat, vegetables, fruit. I still take a multivitamin. Mm. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. And it can't hurt, right? Like. Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's like having insurance. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm probably not going <laughs> to crash my car, but I still have insurance for that reason, yeah. you know? So. That's a really, really yeah. good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> um, what foods do you tell people to avoid? Process stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I, I try to tell people to stay away from stuff that's kind of more heavily packaged, mm. but you know, sometimes it's some really good stuff that's packaged. Yeah. Just because the, you know, these companies they see the need for it and they're like, oh, we're gonna put our name on it, you know. Mm. Can't blame them, mm. you know. Um, as long as they're not poisoning the stuff, you know. I really we don't hope. blame them. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Um, mm. I mean, I tell people more, you know. There is something out there that, and sometimes it's not true, but if you see something on TV, 
it's probably not. You know, if it has a commercial on mm. TV, it's probably not good. Huh. You know, which kind of yeah. scares me because I really like Dave's yeah. Bread. Oh. No affiliation. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, um, you know, I just saw a commercial for it the other day. I'm like, oh, mm. do you have to worry about Dave's Bread now? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's fun. That's an interesting uh, rule of thumb. Yeah. Try it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I mean, a lot of people would used to be like, oh, don't only shop from the outside of the yeah. grocery store. I mean, well, for one thing, there's a lot of good stuff in the middle. Spices, peanut yeah. butter, you know, um, you know, sometimes, you know, salsa, stuff like that. Hot sauce usually is pretty mm. good. Depends on the company, obviously. Mm. And on the other side of the corner, there's a lot of stuff on the outside that's really bad. There's a lot of really crummy mm. dairy products, you know. There's, there's good dairy, mm. of course, but there's a lot of that isn't. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of processed meat, you know. Mm. Stuff like that, so. Yeah. Um, even, like, I noticed some things that, or I've been hearing, like, things that they put in, like, dairy milk alternatives, like carrageenan. Mm -hmm. Oh, is yeah. a really bad one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's why I stopped drinking almond milk. Yeah. There are some that, that doesn't have it. They, they are. Yeah, right. Some. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, there's, it's it's a um, carcinogen, you know, yeah. just like the name kind of sounds, you know. Mm -hmm. Um and that's why I kind of started being like, cause I used to mix my protein shakes with it. Mm. And I would just mix it with that and then be like, oh, you know, and I realized that. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to make my own. Yeah. And I, st I was making my own, my own almond milk for a good, you know, yeah, you can make your couple own. months. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to switch to water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got lazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still eat a lot of almonds. I do love almonds, so, which you also mm -hmm. usually find in the middle of the grocery store. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep. Nuts, yep. grains. Yeah, exactly. Beans, legumes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yep. yep. What what would you say to someone who just says like oh carrageenan causes cancer well so does everything what would you say to someone like that I mean yeah everything can cause cancer in the right amount <laughs> yeah. in the right amount yeah. yeah but I mean you know you probably get cancer from drinking too much water but <laughs> it's it, it, it's the, the dose makes the poison you know mm. I remember back when I was at GNC there's a whole big thing because Reader's Digest was like oh my god here's the arsenic level and all these big name protein powders oh. and then I did a little more research because that's what an intelligent person would do mm -hmm. and realized that the amount that they had in there was so minute that like you get more just inhaling oxygen Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like nothing. But it was, it's, huh. a, it was a fluff piece to, yeah, you know, yeah. be like, oh my God, you know, yeah. read this article because it's going to blow your right, mind. It's yeah. like, it happens yeah. all the time. Oh, it happens right, yeah. all the time. It's ridiculous. With everything. No, yes. Yeah. I see stuff all the time. I see it online too. It's yeah. like, I see all these people online like, oh my God, this person says don't eat salt, you know. It's like salt's one of the most best thing, one of the best things for you. Yeah. You know? That's another thing that was uh -huh. demonized for so long. And like, yeah. you know, since I started increasing the salt and also having really good salt, it mm. can't be like, you know, crummy, like Morton's table salt, something mm -hmm. like that. It'd have to be like a, you know, like a Celtic salt or yeah. a sea, um, you know, Dead Sea salt or anything like that, Redmond's. Um, it's, you know, that's, it's full of, you know, essential electrolytes. It's mm -hmm. just going to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever I, you know, if I feel like I'm starting to get a headache or something, I just put some salt in my water, mm -hmm. drink it. I feel fantastic. I use it as a pre-workout now. Nice. Literally just water and salt, chug it down before I work out. Fantastic. You get a better pump off that's that than awesome I do. That's an awesome hack. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, do you ever do, like, Gatorade and that, that no, kind of stuff? No, okay. no, no. So that's, like, the salt water. That's, like, a good alternative, right? Because you get electrolytes yeah. in that. Yeah, yep, yep. And it's funny because, um, you know, the gym I was just working at, they have Gatorade there, and they just started bringing in Prime. And I was like, you know, it, it's coconut water. Just have oh. that. Yeah, I, I didn't like the, the sodium level, the sodium to potassium levels in it, mm. but it's still better than Gatorade. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gatorade's, you know straight poison <laughs> yeah exactly yeah 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 i was kind of doing like the coconut water thing i liked harmless harvest um but yeah but still i'm kind of like well i don't know I'm not. so they had like they kind of promoted their mm -hmm. product for being pink they're like oh all this like um antioxidants are mm -hmm. naturally occurring or whatever but yep. now every single bottle is pink so i'm like okay guys yeah, which one is it? You're pushing it, right? Yeah. Like, now you're pushing the pink because everybody wants a pink one, right? Yeah, yep, yep. Oh, like, can I really trust you guys? But yeah. I don't know. From I what I understand, they're pretty trustworthy yeah. as far as their products yeah. go. All right. Yep. I guess I'll keep drinking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I know, if I hear anything, I'll eat it. Okay, so. yes. Yep. yep. <laughs> yep. I'll be in touch. Yep. <laughs> um, hmm. 
anything else that I should ask you on the, on the I mean, <laughs> if you have any questions for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I thought you were interviewing me. Not you were interviewing me. No, it's all right. Um, um, I mean, you know, like they said, we are just talking about salt. Salt is, you know, another thing that was definitely very, very much, um, you know, they say demonized, mm-hmm. you know, crapped on, I guess, mm. <laughs> uh, for, for forever, you know. She's like, oh my God, they high blood pressure. It's like, yeah. no, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. It's electrolytes. If you have a good quality salt, it's not going to cause that problem. Mm-hmm. Like I said, like a crummy, like table salt, like Morton's, or you get yeah. a salt packet from, you know, Dunkin' Donuts or something, yeah. or, um, I don't know, the 99 or someplace like that. It's kind mm-hmm. of one of those things where it's like, yeah, that's probably not high quality, but you get it from... You know, like a like a Celtic salt or Redmond's or um, I'm trying to think some of the other types. Um, Himalayan. Himalayan. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Pink salt. You know, <laughs> that's that's stuff that's good. That's the stuff that's good for you. Mm-hmm. So, and at worst, I mean, if you drink, have too much of it, oh my God, two things happen. One, it's gonna taste disgusting. Mm-hmm. Two, you're gonna urinate it out. That's it. Cool. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So he's gonna ruin your drink and you're gonna waste <laughs> your money by if you paid for it. <laughs> okay. Well, let that set everyone at ease on the on the salt topic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Salt is it's a it's a big thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's amazing. It is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to a different topic. So, um, you your experience using social media as an additional. Um, promotional platform for your services how has that worked for you pretty good actually yeah. um, not as good as as, as I was hoping mm. you know it, you know it's, it's funny because I get a lot of DMs mm. a lot more DMs than I do actually like likes <laughs> which is a wow. good thing that's a good thing you know yeah. but I was kind of like wow no one liked it but then like, hey I saw that the other day and I wanted to ask you about this you oh, know that's so, awesome. so it, it has been working out you know not you know I just started kind of doing it on a regular basis but, um, you know, and plus I, I just like posting it. I like posting yeah. information and helping yeah. people, you know. And I, for a while I didn't get any feedback at all, you know, the occasional like by the same people, you know. Um, and then I had a friend of mine being like, yeah, but you don't know who, you know, who saw that and decided to use it, and, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, they probably should have been like, hey, thanks for the information. <laughs> but you're still helping people. I guarantee you yeah. you're awesome. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right so. And when you like give that information from the heart and like really truly like wanting to help people, that's, mm-hmm. that like totally amplifies your message. I feel like yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are like, "Wow, did you like figure that out yourself?" I'm like, "I mean, not really. I mean, <laughs> you know, is there really any original ideas out there? Yeah, you know? right, yeah. <laughs> it's like I totally. I mean, it's it's it's, it's proven information. I'm just putting it in my words, you mm-hmm. know. So it's not like I'm you know some scientist in a lab somewhere or a doctor that you know actually is legitimate and you know did that kind of stuff mm. it's like no this is something someone else figured out and i'm just expounding it so mm-hmm. you know putting into my words yeah yeah well for, from my perspective like even like things that i post you know like they're not really like i'm not really like guiding anyone with like specific like nutritional knowledge or mm-hmm. like training or anything but like um, I like to think that I get my messages from like a higher source sure. and like that still I wouldn't say is like coming directly from me like it's, right I'm like tapping in tuning in to yeah you're just the messenger yeah yeah which is something <laughs> someone's gonna be right exactly you yeah. Know? yeah and I feel like we kind of all are like channeling our own like passion our own essence in, mm-hmm. in that sense agreed yeah yeah cool <laughs> what are the easiest things People can remember to take the best care of themselves and keep themselves feeling as healthy as they possibly can for as long as they can. Just, you know, get plenty of sleep, keep moving, you know, they, 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 those two things go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. You know, the more you move throughout the day, you're better you're going to sleep at night. So mm-hmm. you'll be tired. You know, yeah. if you just sit around all day, I mean, you'll be tired, but in a different way, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if you get plenty of sleep, you'll be able to exercise more kind of a you know revolving thing you know yeah. whatever the opposite of a vicious cycle is that's what it is mm. an awesome cycle I don't know. an awesome cycle <laughs> I love it that's gonna be the title of this episode awesome get, cycle. get into an awesome cycle yeah, right <laughs> <laughs> I have some bodybuilding friends that will be thinking I'm talking about something else but <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking about that <laughs> not condoning that but um 
you know, um, it's, yeah, it's, you know, definitely something that people, you know, like, oh my God, it's so, you know, where, where do I even start? How do I do this? And I mean, I get it. There's a lot of mixed information out there. There's a lot of people saying you need to do this. And I mean, but social media is kind of one of the biggest problems because people are like, hey, what's going to get me likes? What's going to get me traction? Mm. And it's kind of like, well, all the stuff that doesn't work is what does get traction, you know? Mm. And I see people all the time in the gym doing these weird exercises. I'm and like, filming themselves? Yeah, and filming <laughs> themselves, which I, hey, I, I film myself too once in a while. But, yeah. um, <laughs> but um, as long as you're not filming other people and getting in the way, and as long as the gym's not telling you not to, who cares, right? Mm. Um, but it, it's one of those things where, you know, like, I'll, I'll, I've asked people like, "Where'd you? Oh, where'd you learn how to do that?" Oh, TikTok. Like, okay. Yeah. I feel like that's like the, a lot of people's main source of information. It is. It is. And I mean, maybe I mean, hey, Instagram was the same way ten years ago. Uh huh. And I'm like, oh, that's stupid. Where'd you learn that? Instagram. But now there's a lot of great information on Instagram. Yeah. So hopefully TikTok is the same way, if it still is around. You know. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. Yeah. Yep, exactly. So, you know, supposedly they're, they're, they they want. China to sell it to an American company. Like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll sell it. Wink, wink. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I don't have TikTok. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, I hate when that happens. I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like, can I remember that, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you kind of are starting to do your own, like, personal training on yeah, like on online. your own yeah yeah so like how how do you practice that where do your clients come from where do you practice out of i mean um i where i practice out of is pretty much social media uh -huh. um it, it's definitely a little bit different than what i've been doing in the gym mm -hmm. where i'm you know right next to the person counting their reps mm -hmm. making sure their form's fine mm -hmm. um it's more all right you know what you know obviously the same type of deal where i sit them down talk to them Usually over like a Zoom or telephone call mm. and kind of go over what they're, you know, what they're looking to do. Sometimes I might meet them in person if time permits and they're not that far. Mm. Um, you know, and then, you know, I kind of rate them workouts, rate them exercises, I uh, mean, rate them diet plans mm. and um, check in with them, you know. Sometimes I'll have them, hey, you know, I, I want to see how, you know, what your squat's like, you know, if mm -hmm. you can film, film it for me, mm. you know. So I can kind of see what they're doing wrong. Obviously, I give them very detailed explanations. Like, all right, make sure your chest is up, you're looking forward, mm. hips back, feet forward, knees forward, knees over feet, you know, and make sure they're doing it correctly. Mm. But, you know, sometimes, even myself sometimes, I know I know how to coach someone how to do something, mm. and I'll do it, and I'll be like, oh, dude, I totally did that wrong. Because yeah. <laughs> you can't really watch yourself, you know. Yeah. Even with the mirror there, sometimes right. you don't have the right perspective, you know. Right. You know, if, if the mirror's right in front of me behind a squat rack, I can't see if my butt's out far enough, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of one of those, I mean, that's an easy thing to fix, but, you know, that, as an example. But it's mm -hmm. just kind of one of those things that, you know, it's it takes a lot more trust on the other person's side, you mm -hmm. know, because um, I'm not going to be right there holding their hand figuratively. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you know, a lot, a lot of it's that. A lot of it's checking in. Kind of like, okay, here's the workouts. How'd this go? How, you know, anything caused pain? Mm -hmm. Anything didn't feel right? Um How'd you feel afterwards? Did anything hurt? You know, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it definitely opens up a lot more time. Make, you know, allows me to help more people. Um, it's on the other side of the coins. It's much more cost effective than in person, one on one. Where, mm -hmm. especially whereas the gym would kind of, you know, be like, okay, this is the pricing. Mm -hmm. You know, I never get to tell the pricing in the right. gym. The gym I work for tell the pricing. Yeah. So, in some areas, like around here, where there's a lot of you know, we're next to Lawrence, where it's, you know, it's the second poorest town the city in Massachusetts. You know, obviously not everyone is poor there, but, mm -hmm. you know, overall it's the second most, second poorest town next to Springfield. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's harder when, you know, all the gyms have the same pricing mm -hmm. when you're dealing with, you know, a company that also has gyms in like Chelmsford or Salisbury, mm -hmm. you know, places that have money, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, um, well, I'll ask you on that note, like, so if people want to, like, hire you or, like, get your services, yep. what do they do? Where do they go? Um, I mean, they can message me on Instagram. Okay. It's, um, I just changed it, so it's a little more professional than just my name. It's, uh, -huh. uh hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Make sure I give it give it out correctly. Oh, I just had it. Because <laughs> you messed me there. It is Coach Dave D Fitness. Awesome. Is my Instagram. Awesome. It's that um, they can you know Facebook. I'm Dave Dickinson on there. Um, you know my, my mug's right there in the picture. So you can't miss me. Uh, <laughs> um, you know that uh, my email address is ddickinson77 at gmail.com. You know, any of those work. If you follow Kim, you can probably just ask her for my yep. information. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure all those links end up in the show notes. Cool, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yep, I have a few more questions. Yeah, please do. Oh, I, love, you know, like, I love questions. So these are going to be questions that I'll ask all my guests okay. at, at the end of the interview. So um, th this is a little bit different than the first question I asked you. So what are you here on earth right now for? Not to do... Just what for? What are you here to experience in this life? Um, hmm. I mean, obviously, I want to say what I said earlier about taking, helping people live their best life. Um, you know, try to be healthy and happy and free. Um, you know, I'm also a father, so taking care of my daughter is my, my number one priority. Mm. Um, it's that's definitely a huge thing. I feel like as a you know as a father, it's you know no matter what else I do, that's my number one thing mm. is her safety and health so um you know other than that you know like i said just trying to help other people and you know make my way through life as well so mm. cool. can't help people if i'm not he healthy so yeah, you <laughs> i mean i have seen i mean I've, i mean there's been times i haven't been in the super best shape and you know it's funny one of the best trainers was you know that i've ever worked with was in a gym down the south shore and he was enormous he was a big dude <laughs> like like you know, not big, big, but like big, big. Mm -hmm. But he had a following. You know, he mm -hmm. just had a way about him. You know, I'd say his his knowledge was average, wasn't bad. You know, he just was good at training people. You know, and just one of those things yeah. showing you don't have to be, you know, you know the, the picture of perfect health. You don't have to have a six pack and yeah. you know. I mean, trainers. You know, we we don't just eat. You know chicken and broccoli all day long you know sometimes we have pie sometimes we have ice cream you yeah. know it's we live a little yep. you know and still won't have mcdonald's or anything like that but, oh, okay. <laughs> but there is a line <laughs> there's a line there's a line absolutely you know there's junk food and there's street poisons so. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> yep. it was my sponsorship with them no, uh, <laughs> that's okay i'm okay with that <laughs> yeah everybody's a work in process right yeah, exactly all exactly all the time we're yep. a constant work in process right and you gotta i mean even having yeah. You know, having a cheat day, it's it helps. It helps a lot. Mm. You know, you know that having that kind of spike of sugar kind of you know helps with the protein synthesis throughout the week. Kind of spikes insulin. You know, mm. it keeps you keeps you mentally better. You know, because you're just eating the same stuff all the time, mm -hmm. which is a, actually a good thing. Mm -hmm. Generally, you know, you save time. You don't have to worry about oh, what I'm gonna have tomorrow. No, I, I literally have the same thing every meal every day except for Saturdays. Mm. You know, breakfast it's eggs and yogurt and fruit and coffee. You know, um, after I work out, I have a protein shake. Lunch is always beef and broccoli. Mm -hmm. You know, dinner is usually a piece of steak and some more some more vegetables of some sort. But on Saturday, it's kind of a free-for-all. I might have some of that, yeah. but usually for dinner, it's always like a cheeseburger or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> you to live a little. But I still yeah. get my protein, too, so you see. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what can we expect to see from you in the golden future of humanity? What do you see your role as in our transition to higher consciousness? I mean, hopefully helping people, you know, achieve that while also achieving, you know, better overall health. You know, I mean, the you know, if your consciousness, at least in the, the mortal plane, um, can only last so long as your body does. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, so if you want to, you know, do good things here, you got to stay healthy and stay alive. You know, you can't be dying young. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So um, you definitely want to, you know, you know, treat your body like a temple, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even like back in, you know, long time ago, back, you know, philosophers and stuff like that. I'm just learning now that a lot of them were, you know, in fantastic physical shape. Because they believed in the mind-body kind of connection there. And the longer they, you know, stay in shape, the longer they live, mm -hmm. the more good things they can do in life. So, mm. Yeah, that is really important. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> um, what's your highest, brightest vision of the future? 
without worrying how to get there. Hmm. See, I always worry about how to get places. <laughs> so that's a tough question for me. Um, you know, I don't know. You know, I guess just providing the best future for my daughter and hoping mm. she can do something amazing. Or if not, at least she's happy, you know. Mm. Um, you know I mean, I, not that I'm not doing things I find amazing myself. Like I said, I've helped three people in the last year walk without a cane, you know. And hopefully they continue to do that. Mm. Um, hopefully I continue to get more people to, you know, actually move better and live better lives and not be so confined to, you know, the third leg or a walker or, you know, God forbid, you know, not be able to go up a set of stairs or anything like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, it's just kind of, you know, helping people kind of move better and just be healthier and happier. And, you know, I may not be doing something crazy important to the whole world as a whole, but hopefully some of those people do, so... I mean, everybody has their own, like, work to do. Right? Sure, of course, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you're doing your part. Yep, <laughs> I like to think so. Um, do you have anything else you want to plug other than your Instagram? You, you give your email address. I mean, that's pretty much it right now. Oh, right. Um, you know, um, I like to plug your, your, your interview service here. So, oh, no. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Although if you already watched this, you already know about it. So. <laughs> but no, other than that, yeah, I mean, that's really as far as, um, you know, professional things right now is going on. That's, that's what I got. So, and it's doing pretty well. And, you know, I can awesome. definitely have room for more. So, mm, you know, yeah. it's de it definitely helps me sit, you know, I don't have to be anywhere at a certain time doing it. You know, I don't have other, you know, you know, usually when I was training at, you know, in gyms, there's other stuff that came with the job, you know, mm -hmm. which is fine. I didn't mind it, you know, deal with memberships, cancellations, putting away the weights, straightening things out, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with issues, you know, in the basketball court or the pool or pools overflowing. So there's a fight in the basketball court. No, now mm -hmm. I can just focus on. Yeah, that always happens. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> always bringing up fights there. Um, wow. It's a lot of, you know, now it's just focusing on the clients. And that's really what I really that's want to do. That's so. awesome. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like. That simplifies it a lot for you. It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, you know, having 10 clients in person is a lot harder than having, you know, 30 clients doing what I'm doing now. Yeah. You know, so. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I just like having me being able to help more people. You yeah. Know, so. Which I always kind of thought it was, you know, the better to work in busier gyms for that reason. Usually busier gyms come with more baggage. So mm. and people usually don't look for help in busier gyms. They just mm. want to do their own thing, put their headphones on, and just do whatever they want to do, mm. even, even though they'll look the same a year later. Because <laughs> that happens a lot. You yeah. know, I hear that all the time. We're like, oh, you know, I'm just going to figure it out on my own. I'm like, you know, buddy, I've been hearing that all, all the time for the last 20 years. And people, mm -hmm. you know, either A, I see them a year later, they look exactly the same. Or I don't see them ever again because they get hurt, they get frustrated because they're not making any changes, mm -hmm. and they just give it up. You mm -hmm. know, so that's why everyone needs yeah. a coach. You know, yeah. um, I mean, you know, Tom Brady, he has a coach. You know, I'm not ruffling feathers for fans that aren't renting from New England, but you know, easily one of the best quarterbacks of all time. <laughs> but you don't think he didn't have a coach? Mm -hmm. Or you know, Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan, The Rock. You know, take whoever. You know, Jeff Bezos. You know. Um, Anyone who's performed at a high level and is highly successful in mm. any form of life, you don't think they have some sort of coaching, yeah. not just in sports, but in just yeah. business, like too. You know? Elon Musk, yeah, anyone yeah. like that, you know. The Dalai Lama probably has a coach, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, so. but, uh, no, you kind of, like, I mean, you made me see from a new perspective because, like, even, like you said, like, I have mirrors all over this place and, like, I can't really, like, see that like if i'm doing a yoga pose like exactly like how i should be doing sure it. like i don't i can't really tell exactly if i'm like doing a squat the right way mm -hmm. so yeah having somebody like there to like critique your posture yep is key oh like, very key yeah. very key yeah. yep and that's you know where like you know doing what i'm doing now you know um so, you know film yourself you know mm -hmm. let me see how it is okay you know, and, and if, if I'm not kind of verbalizing it in a way that they can understand it, because sometimes no matter how smart you are, you, you, you can't explain something to some people. And mm -hmm. it's not really a problem with the other person. It's just the connection just isn't there. Mm -hmm. But there's also, okay, let me let me find a good YouTube clip and I'll send it to you. Mm. And I do that a lot too. Nice, you know? yeah. Like, you know, this is what a, 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 a squat looks like. Mm -hmm. 
And there it is, you know? Yeah. So that way they can actually see it in person, so. Nice. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. This idea just came to me. But, nice. Um, it's kind of like a suggestion. I'm going to throw it out there. You can say yes or no. But do you want to sponsor this episode with by giving me a session of your training? Yeah, sure. <laughs> why not? Sure, why not? All right. And I can film it and, like, we can, like, sponsor this episode yeah. with, with my filming of sure. it. Sure. Why All not? Right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, definitely. Heck, yeah. <laughs> and I can, like, yeah, and I can, like, firsthand be like, okay, these are James. Yeah, versus. why not? Sure. Yeah. Yep. All right. Absolutely. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right, I just had one more question. Yeah. Were there any other que any questions I didn't ask you that you'd wished I'd asked, and what are they? And please feel free to answer them now. Jeez, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm sure I'd probably, I'd probably think of stuff the last next couple of days. Uh, yeah, it yeah. always happens. Always I know, happens. Me too. Like, oh, I should have asked this. I should have asked that. I should have <laughs> said this. That's just how life is, you know? Yep. Um, it's even worse when something like, wow, that's something I say every day. Why did I say that you know, this time? So. Whatever, it would have been perfect, whatever. But yeah, I, uh, no, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, so. All right. Very in the moment kind of a person when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't like to be mm, scripted. Yeah. You know, I'm sure it comes off that way sometimes, but it's the stuff I've been saying for years and years and years. And so it gets, you know, ingrained in my head that mm -hmm. it just kind of regurgitates naturally, so. Mm -hmm, yeah. Not that regurgitates that plaising of a word, but. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, well. Yeah. I'm so happy to have you as my I, guest. It's thank been a pleasure. You so much, thank you so much. Dave. No, thank you. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is this is a great time. Yeah, yeah. no, I've enjoyed it definitely, Yay. definitely. Wasn't as nervous as I as I thought I'd be. So, Good. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, thank you for viewing this episode. Yeah, thank you. And see you in the next one. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Take care. for watching this episode if you're not already please remember to like this video and subscribe to support this channel don't forget to check the links for today's guest in the description below if you like watching my podcast and you think to yourself i'd love to be a guest on that show well do something get curious get interested be active in your communities we all as individuals have great value to offer and more than that, significance in being uniquely you. I invite you to open yourself up to every possibility you've ever dreamed of for yourself or held back from letting yourself even dream. To quote Bonnie Ray, give them something to talk about. How about love? Really, put love in everything you do and watch miracles happen. Give us something to talk about that aligns with my mission of community, love, and awakening higher consciousness and I'll have you on as my guest to ask, what is it like to be you? Keep up with me to be notified of bonus content when it becomes available, including tarot readings for my guests, opening ceremonies, breathing exercises, and more, including the incredible Breath 101 practice with Karina Karjan. <laughs>